Hello friends, in today's session, we will be learning the principles of digital data recording. A digital data recorder records data in digital format that is a sequence of bits, zeros and ones. The commonly used recording device are magnetic tapes. The two types of digital recorders are incremental digital recorder and synchronous digital recorder. These two are different on the basis of motion of the magnetic tape when data is fed into it. For example, in incremental digital data recorder, the magnetic tape will move when bits are fed into it. The magnetic tape is commanded to step ahead when each of the bits are recorded onto the tape. In a synchronous digital recorder, the magnetic tape is in continuous motion. The incoming bits will be encoded onto the tape at a particular rate. The commonly used recording technique is non return zero recording method. It is a much wide accepted IBM format. In an NRZ method, the change in flux is used to indicate a bit. If there is a change in flux, then it is indicated by bit 1. And if there is no change in flux, then that indicates a zero bit. If you look at this magnetic tape here, there is a sequence of units in which the magnetization of each of the units is indicated by the arrow. When there is a change in flux direction, that means a bit one. So the, if, if we compare the first unit and second unit, there is clearly a flux direction. That means these units represent bit 1. If we compare the second unit and the third unit, there is no change in flux direction. So that means those two, un those two units represent a bit 0. And the second and the third and fourth units correspond to a bit 1 because there is a change in flux direction. Similarly, the fourth and fifth unit have a change in flux. That means a bit 1 is encoded there and here what is the bit in the next unit? It is again a 1 because there is again a change in flux direction. Here we have a change in flux direction. So that means a 1 is encoded here. Again here is a 1. Here it is a 0 bit because there is no change in flux direction between these, these units. And the last session also encodes a 1 because there is again a change in flux direction. So NRZ method includes or uses change in flux direction to indicate bit 1. Here we have another format to represent the NRZ method. In this diagram, I have shown the saturation level of adjacent bits. And if we look, a change from negative saturation to positive saturation indicates a bit 1. Again, the change from positive saturation to negative saturation indicates 1. Here again, negative saturation to positive saturation change is indicated by 1. When the flux is not changing, that corresponds to bit 0. So wherever bit 1 is to be encoded, there should be a reversal in flux direction. So if we are recording using this method, the recording field of sufficient amplitude should be reversed to record bit 1 and should be kept constant to record bit 0. A re reversal in flux correspond to 1 and no change in flux correspond to 0. So this is the commonly used NRZ method for encoding. Now I have an activity for you. Encode 1100011 using NRZ method. Either encode the data as in a magnetic tape indicating the flux direction in each of the units or indicate the saturation level, the magnetic saturation level of each unit as indicated in the earlier signal diagram. The common types of errors that occur in digital data recording are signal dropout and spurious pulses. In signal dropout, some signal will be missed from the sequence. Maybe one or two bits might, might be missed. And in spurious pulses, 
some unwanted bits might be added into the sequence. So in order to rectify these errors, the commonly used methods are parity check and bipolar mark inversion. In parity check, a parity bit will be added along with the sequence in order to check whether we have dropped anything or anything extra has been added. The number of ones in the sequence will be counted and if it is an odd number then it is called odd parity check and if it is an even number it is called an even parity check. So the parity will be included along with the sequence and will be checked if the parity matches with the data and if there is an any mismatch the corrections can be made accordingly. Bipolar mark inversion uses another kind of mechanism. The bipolar format consists of a three state signal. Here alternate ones are marked with inverted voltages. Here plus V and minus V both correspond to bit one. But the alternate ones are marked with alternating plus voltage and minus voltage. Zero correspond to zero voltage itself. This, this method of encoding helps to avoid a lot of common mistakes like missing out any bit or inclusion of any unwanted bits into the sequence. So these are the common methods of excluding errors in digital data recording. Now I have an assignment for you. In the comment session, please comment what are the advantages and disadvantages of digital data recording? Hope today's session was very informative for you. Thank you.